Hello, welcome to the second video in a series of programming uh, endeavors to solve the Advent of Code challenges. By the way, last time I forgot to mention this is adventofcode.com if you wanted to visit it and try it yourself. I would encourage you to have a go at these problems yourself before looking at other solutions, or if you're lazy, you can just continue watching. So yeah, let's move on to day two. Day2.sh. Let's put in the shebang. So again, there's a backstory here. Um, essentially what we have is data that looks like this, where we have a series of commands um, and we have to keep track of our position as these commands change our position. So where it says forward five, we've got to change our horizontal position by five. We also have to keep track of our depth where it says down five, we have to increase our depth by five. Up three would decrease the depth by three. And at the end of it, we have to um, we have to know our horizontal position and the depth, and then we have to, for some reason, multiply them together. So in this example data, you get a horizontal position of 15 and a depth of 10, um, which together produce 150. So the way I'm going to solve this, I'm going to start in much the same style as with the last one, where we just, to begin with, let's just read it line by line, just so we can see that we've got the data. Um, going in as it should. So input day two, let's get our puzzle input. Get your puzzle input. Now I'm just gonna, see that's 1001 lines. So I'm just gonna copy that in and then let's run that after making it executable. Day two. So yeah, it's waiting for input and it's just repeating what we give it. Now in the input is a command followed by a number. So I'm going to call this command and the number is indicating a distance. And we have to keep track of a horizontal position. Uh, let's just call it pause. Um, start at a zero and a depth, which is also going to start at zero. So we need to take a different action depending on what the command is. So if the command is forward, down, or up. So if it's forward, we need to increase the position, the horizontal position, pause. So plus, uh, it's not plus one, it's plus the distance. If it's down, we're changing the depth. Um, so depth plus distance. So you've got to remember depth increases as you go down. So we are taking our existing depth and adding the distance that we go down. And for up, we do the opposite. So depth minus distance. Yeah, I think that's it. And then at the end of it, we should get two numbers, pause and depth. I'm just going to print them separately for now. So uh, input day two. Okay. Um, so the position, horizontal position is 1845, the depth is 916, but for the challenge we actually have to multiply them together for some reason. So pause times distance. Uh, that's given us zero, because it's not distance, it's depth. My mistake. Okay, that's a large number, we're just going to throw that into the answer box, see if that's right. Yep, that's the right answer. So we're gonna, we've got another gold star, so part two. Part two I've not seen before, so this should be interesting. Based on your calculations, the planned course doesn't seem to make any sense. Find the submarine manual and discover that the process is actually slightly more complicated. In addition to horizontal position and depth, you'll also need to track a third value, aim, which also starts at zero. Okay, so I'm going to go in here, put aim equals zero. The commands also mean something entirely different than you first thought. Right, okay, brilliant. So down x actually increases your aim by x units. Up x decreases your aim by x units. 
and forward X does two things. It increases your horizontal position by X units and increases your depth by your aim multiplied by X. Ah, okay. Using this new interpretation of the commands, calculate the horizontal position and depth you would have after following the planned course. What do you get if you multiply your final horizontal position by your final depth? So same thing, except the commands are doing something slightly different, and we also have to keep track of this third value, aim. So we've got this starting at zero. So down, let's do that first. So in the down case, down x increases your aim by x units. So actually we need to say aim plus distance. Okay. And then for the up case, it does the same except it decreases it. So aim minus distance. I think that's right. Forward, there's two things. Increases your horizontal position by x units, so we've already got that actually. But it also increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. I wonder if they mean increase the depth by your aim and then multiply that by x, or do they want you to multiply your aim by x and then add that to the depth? Because they're not the same thing. I'm going to assume the latter. So it increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. So in this case, we're just going to have depth. Um, this has messed up my indentation. So we're going to have depth equals increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. So aim times distance. Perhaps I should have made this a separate file as well. Yeah, let's write this as day two, part two. Yeah, there we go. So I've just split those into two separate files now. So day one is our original solution for, for part one. Sorry, day two dot sh is our solution for part one. And then day two, part two is our solution for part two. And then for the results, it's the same, I guess. All right, let's try doing that again. Day two, part two. Permission denied. I need to make it executable. I'm going to keep forgetting to do that. So day two, part two. Here we go. We get a slightly different number compared to just day two. We get a very different number. Let's try putting this in the box. Is that right? That's not the right answer. Your answer is too low. So what could we have done wrong here? Let me just read this again. Down x increases your aim by x units. Yep. Up x decreases your aim by x units. Yeah. Forward x does two things. Firstly, it increases your horizontal position by x units. Done. And then it increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. Ooh, because I've missed out depth here. Okay. So, yeah, that's a larger number. So let's try that. Okay, let's see if we got this right. That's the right answer. There we go. So all, all the... <laughs> What the problem was, is I, uh, I forgot to write this depth plus here. So, it's just kind of a lazy mistake. Anyway, that's part two done. That's day two done. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next video is going to be day three. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.